I'm back. I've had a bit of a spontaneous five week break from YouTube and I'm sorry if you've been following all my stories. I'm gonna explain exactly why I kinda of had this break and why I had a little bit of time off from YouTube. Basically, when things are quiet from my end, uh, I'm not projecting things out on social media because I'm busy doing other things. So, we've had a lot of stuff to do with Squat Club and also with SQ Athlete, which meant that I had to take my focus from YouTube and I put, put it back onto the back seat just for a little bit. Um, you know, Squat Club and SQ Athlete is kind of where the finances all come from, you know, so you know that is the major priority for, for me. Um, so I've had to put that in the back seat for now. You know, with Squat Club, like we're growing really, really fast. Um, we're looking right now, we're looking for another staff member because we are understaffed and the demand is pretty high. Um, so, you know, constantly we're looking out for that. Um, I've been buying new, more and more equipment as well as the, as the place gets bigger and bigger. Um, you know, I've had been focusing a lot more on the marketing type of side of things as well as the business type of side of things and just trying to, with the growth of Squat Club, itself so um, yeah that's it's I've had to have my focus and put that more into squat club for the time being um, SQ athlete as well you know where we've been working on our new line which is going to be launching in two weeks um, so finalizing um, the new line with that the colors um, dealing with the manufacturer um, going back and forward with them as well which has been pretty tough um, so like there's been so much more focus on those two things that I've had to put YouTube uh, on the back seat just for the time being um, it wasn't something that I planned to do but it was more of a you know probably the best decision that you know that I could choose um, so then I can put more focus into those two things um, you know YouTube I love YouTube and I'm looking at it as, as a really really cool hobby of mine I love the editing I love the recording and, and trying to create new content but it's also very time-consuming as well so been trying to find the time to be able to try and manage uh, all three can be quite pretty difficult which is why um, I decided to just kind of have a little bit of a break from YouTube just for a little bit um, but uh, I'm back I'm back now everything's kind of you know, mellowed back out again. We're back um, to being able to focus on all three things at the same time again. 
So that's the reason why um, I've been very, very quiet. Um, it's actually really, really difficult to kind of be in front of a camera again. Um, I've it's taken me so many times just to try and record this little clip here, um, just because I've been, haven't been in front of a camera for five weeks, so it's actually really, really difficult. Um, yeah, I feel nervous. I feel nervous talking to you guys. <laughs> So anyway, so that's, that's where, where I've been. Uh, I apologize if you have been following my journey um, and I've had a little bit of a break. Um, you know, I don't post too much on Instagram as well. I just, it's, it's pretty difficult trying to manage um, so many different platforms as well. So I do apologize if you have been following. Um, I'm trying to stay up to date, keep you guys up to date as much as I can. But I am back and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what's going on with the business, um, with both businesses and you know my training, my nutrition, um, as you would have just seen in the training video as well, that you know I'm starting to get pretty lean now. I've uh, been tracking my macros to a T um, and I've just been tracking yeah, I've been tracking my workouts, my weight, my progression, um, and everything's going really, really well. So I'll probably show you show you that uh, probably for my next video. But um, yeah, everything's going really good. And if you haven't seen the last video on how I uh, set up my macros, then make sure you go and check that one out. So uh, this morning, uh, we're gonna go head over to the gym. I've got a photo shoot with uh, one of my best mates, Danny. Um, he's releasing a clothing line um, for, for footballers, so it's called Market 10. And we're gonna be doing some photos today um, with his products, so that'll be pretty cool. And then um, we're gonna go into the gym and I'm gonna show you my new range, the new SQ Athlete clothing line for winter. So that'll be cool too. So um, hope you enjoy the little edit I just did for you. and. Uh, I'll see you after our photo shoot. show you the new line that we've got about to drop in two weeks time it's probably a little bit later than I actually wanted I wanted to do this in the autumn but it's taken a long time from the manufacturers but hey we're almost there now so uh, we've got two pairs of pants and we've got two pairs of there's three two pairs of pants and two pairs of short sleeve hoodies um, that we're gonna be dropping in two weeks so the first pair I've got are the stone gray joggers so um, we've gone for a nice stone, like a light color gray. Um, we've got this SQ Athlete, this is the subtle logo, uh, the text here. And we've gone for the contrast of having like the black zippers and the black drawstring as well. Um, keeping them tight. They will, keep the, they will keep the shape a lot, um, but they will get a little bit looser than they are here. Um, I'm wearing a medium. And then we've kind of, we put the double, double breast pockets on the back as well. So um, they will keep you, they are, they are warm, but they are like a, a thin type of material. So um, we've got that color, and then we're gonna show you the black pair. So these now are our black joggers. Um, so exactly the same type of style. Um, we do have the SQ Athlete text as stitched, um, and then the black zippers as well. Um, the, sizing, the sizing of the pockets are good. Let me grab you, I'm gonna grab you my phone. So the size of the pocket fits, fits an iPhone 10. So that way it's not gonna be sticking out because I hate pockets um, that are too small. And if I put, I usually put my phone in my pocket. So if I don't, want, I don't really want my pocket um, with showing my phone. So that was something that I actually wanted to put in there too. Um, but they are, I, I'm so happy with them. I'm really, really happy with the shape, the style, the fit, and they will get a little bit looser because um, I don't want them too tight. So that's a medium. I could probably go in a large as well, but they'll probably go a little bit baggy um, after a few times that I've worn them. So that's the black pair. Right, now onto the short sleeve hoodies. On to my favorite piece now. So these are the short sleeve hoodies and this replicates me to a T, right? So everything that I've designed for SK Athlete for the men's range is being everything that 
I would like to wear, what I, what I look for in clothing. So um, we've gone for a long look. We've gone for the scooped hem here. And instead of having something so straight, um, and it is nice and long because I, I, I like the long, the length of clothing. Um, it shows a lot more premium touch as well. So we have the SQ Athlete, like a subtle text on the side here, coming up the, the jumper. And then you have your hood as well. Um, the sleeves, or on the gray ones, they're gonna be a little bit tighter on the sleeves, but on the black ones, they are gonna be a little bit looser just because of the, the color in the actual product. Um, they are a bigger fit, so um, I'm wearing a medium now, but I probably, I actually could probably fit a small, so just taking consideration, it is a bigger and a boxier type of fit, so, um, you know, with the shirts, I, we were looking towards like a smaller type of fit, but these are going to be more of a bigger type of fit So depends on what you like. Um, this is a medium and it is quite long, but it does sit really well um, It's nice and snug and it's really really good quality um, Sleeves are raw cut as well. So we've kept them pretty raw um, And then we've also got the label up here this on the on the lip of the hood uh, We are changing that to the actual SQ logo instead of having it as text which will be on both sides. Um, and then uh, that's that's really it. It's scooped at the bottom as well. And um, the gray the gray looks good with so many things. I was wearing this last night with uh, denim jeans and a denim jacket on top and it still looked really, really good. So that's the gray onto the, the smoke black. So the reason why I've called it smoke black because you've got, these joggers are your typical black joggers and then you've got the hoodie that's a little bit lighter than the joggers. So we're gonna call it more of a smoked black. You know, there's a little bit of white in there. Um, you've got, again, you've got the white text down here, nice and subtle, sits just above the SP athlete on the joggers as well. And, um, and then again, like the logo on the lip of the hood. So that's the black. The black goes with pretty much everything as well. Um, yeah, so scoop to the bottom, both sides. It also does have a slit as well on the side too. And uh, I'm really, really happy. Raw edges on the arm sleeves too. Um, really cool. You know what's cool is that now I'm getting to see the potential of what SQ Athlete can do and now been able to have uh, a complete outfit because we have um, we had the two sleeveless tees from the summer range and then also the also the, the tees, the two tees in the summer range. And then now we've been able to have um, two short sleeve hoodies and then two pairs of joggers now. So we're now starting to get a whole outfit together. So it's really, really cool to be able to kind of pair everything up together and it does look really good you know like the stone gray goes really well with the jumper uh, black on black also looks really good so the good combinations of um of everything too so so excited so happy um coming in two weeks i'm waiting on a confirmation date from the manufacturers and when it's all going to be ready and we're going to be dropping them asap so that's really going to be cool so i forgot to mention as well is that i've now got a new upgrade with my camera so i had an issue with, with the last few videos that my camera broke um i sent it away to panasonic and they couldn't fix it so i've been able to get a new camera i'm um, going for the bigger brother of what my old one is so this is the this is the lumix g85 um, and it's got good stabilization in there, but it kept it. I wanted something that was still familiar with from my past camera as well. So we're now back on track with that. Um, takes good images and also takes good video quality as well. So that's that. Um, that's going to conclude tonight's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm back on the YouTube. Uh, if you did like the video, smash it up with a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you press subscribe on the circle up here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.